But once upon a time, Princess Peach was just an ordinary girl living in the human world. But one day, she stumbled upon a magical portal that transported her to the mushroom world. As she entered the new world, Princess Peach was amazed by the colorful landscapes and the friendly inhabitants of the Mushroom Kingdom. She quickly became friends with Mario, Luigi, and the rest of the crew. One day, while exploring the kingdom, Princess Peach stumbled upon Bowser, the evil king who had kidnapped her fellow Mushroom citizens. Princess Peach knew that she had to act quickly to save her new friends. With Mario and Luigi by her side, Princess Peach bravely fought against Bowser and his minions. Together, they defeated the evil king and saved the Mushroom Kingdom. As a reward for her bravery, the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom crowned Princess Peach as their new princess. She was honored to accept the title and vowed to always protect her new home and friends from harm. And so, Princess Peach lived happily ever after in the magical world of the Mushroom Kingdom, with new adventures and challenges awaiting her at every turn. One day, while exploring the depths of the jungle, Mario and Luigi stumbled upon a hidden temple. Inside, they discovered a strange device that resembled a large, mechanical Donkey Kong. The brothers quickly realized that it was a racing machine and decided to test their skills against each other. As they started the engine, the Donkey Kong roared to life and took off, barreling through the dense jungle at breakneck speed. The race was intense, with both brothers pushing themselves to the limit, maneuvering through obstacles and dodging dangerous animals. Suddenly, they heard a loud roar behind them. It was Donkey Kong himself, who had grown tired of seeing his mechanical counterpart being used for racing. He charged towards the brothers, intent on stopping them. Mario and Luigi had no choice but to use their racing skills to outmaneuver Donkey Kong. They expertly navigated through the jungle, narrowly avoiding his attacks until they crossed the finish line, victorious. As they celebrated their win, they realized that they had stumbled upon a new form of adventure, one that combined the thrill of racing with the excitement of exploration. From that day forward, they would continue to explore the world, seeking out new challenges and adventures, fueled by their love of racing and the thrill of discovery. Bowser's desire to marry Princess Peach can be seen as part of his ongoing conflict with Mario and his quest for power. In many Mario games, Bowser is portrayed as the primary antagonist, and his ultimate goal is often to take over the Mushroom Kingdom or achieve some other form of world domination. In this context, Bowser's desire to marry Peach can be seen as a strategic move. As the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom, Peach holds a great deal of power and influence, and by marrying her, Bowser would be able to exert control over the kingdom and its resources. Additionally, by taking Peach as his bride, Bowser would be able to humiliate Mario and further assert his dominance over his longtime rival. Of course, in most Mario games, Bowser's plans are ultimately foiled by Mario and his allies, and Peach is rescued from her captor's clutches. Still, Bowser's motivations for wanting to marry Peach are an important part of his character and his ongoing conflict with Mario. But from another point of view, Princess Peach is the only woman in the Mushroom Kingdom and Bowser loves juicy peaches. The annual Donkey Kong racing games were coming up, and Mario, Princess Peach, and Toad were eager to participate. They arrived at the track, ready to face the fierce competition and win the grand prize. The race was set to take place in the heart of the jungle, with obstacles and challenges at every turn. As they approached the starting line, they saw Donkey Kong himself preparing to join the race. The stakes were high, and the competition was intense. The race began, and the competitors sped through the jungle, dodging obstacles and using their racing skills to stay ahead. Mario, Peach, and Toad worked together, each playing to their strengths, and soon they found themselves neck and neck with Donkey Kong. As they approached the finish line, they realized they had one last obstacle to overcome a giant tree blocking their path. Donkey Kong plowed straight through it, 
But Mario and the gang had a different idea. They used their quick thinking to build a makeshift ramp and soared over the tree, crossing the finish line just ahead of Donkey Kong. With their victory secured, they celebrated and thanked each other for their teamwork and bravery. And as they looked out over the lush jungle, they knew that they would always remember this incredible adventure and the lessons they learned about perseverance, ingenuity, and the power of working together. Once upon a time, in the magical Mushroom Kingdom, Princess Peach and Mario fell deeply in love. Mario, being the heroic plumber that he is, went on a quest to save Peach from the clutches of the evil Bowser. After countless adventures and battles, Mario finally defeated Bowser and rescued Peach. Overwhelmed with gratitude and admiration, Princess Peach asked Mario to marry her. Mario happily agreed, and together, they planned a grand wedding in the Mushroom Kingdom. All of the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom gathered to celebrate the union of their beloved princess and her brave hero. The wedding was a beautiful affair, filled with music, dancing, and delicious food. As the sun set on the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario and Peach exchanged their vows and promised to love and protect each other for eternity. The entire kingdom erupted in cheers as the newlyweds shared a kiss and began their new life together. From that day on, Mario and Peach ruled the Mushroom Kingdom together, bringing peace and happiness to all of its inhabitants. And they lived happily ever after. This story is about why Mario hates mushrooms, but his family had a great love for mushrooms, especially his mother who would use them in all sorts of delicious dishes, from pasta to soups to sauces. However, Mario had a strong aversion to mushrooms, and he could not understand why his family loved them so much. He found their texture and taste unpleasant, and even the sight of them made him feel queasy. Mario's dislike of mushrooms was so strong that he refused to eat any dish that contained them, much to the chagrin of his mother and other family members. One day, while out playing in the city sewerage, Mario as if by a miracle he entered the enchanted world of Princess Peach. Mario came across a strange looking mushroom that he had never seen before. Without thinking, he picked it up and examined it closely, marveling at its odd shape and color. Suddenly, he began to feel strange, and before he knew it, he had grown to twice his size. He felt powerful and strong, but also scared and confused. Mario soon realized that the mushroom he had picked up was not an ordinary mushroom, but a magic mushroom that had the power to transform whoever rotate. He also realized that his aversion to mushrooms was rooted in a childhood incident where he accidentally went to poisonous mushroom and became very sick. From that day on, Mario's aversion to mushrooms was replaced with a deep fear and hatred of them. He could not bear the thought of anyone else suffering from the same fate as he did, and so he refused to let his family use mushrooms in their dishes. Over time, Mario learned to control his fear and hatred of mushrooms, and he even came to appreciate their usefulness in certain contexts. However, he remained cautious around them, knowing that their power could be dangerous if not used wisely. And so, Mario continued to fight against the evil Bowser and his minions, always on the lookout for any dangerous mushrooms that could pose a threat to himself or his friends. There were two brothers named Luigi and Mario who had a dream of opening their own business as plumbers. They knew that it was a risky venture, but they believed in themselves and their skills. However, when they told their family about their plans, they were met with skepticism and even laughter. Their family members thought that it was a silly idea and that they would never succeed. Despite the discouragement, Luigi and Mario refused to give up on their dream. They knew that it was going to be a difficult journey, but they were willing to work hard to make it happen. They spent months researching and planning their business, and they saved up every penny they could. Finally, the day came when they opened their own plumbing company. They had no customers and no jobs, but they were determined to make it work. They went door to door, handing out flyers and business cards, hoping to find someone who needed their services. At first, it was a slow start, but they never gave up. 
They continue to work hard, even when it seemed like their business would never take off. Slowly but surely, they began to get a few customers. They were so grateful for each and every job they received, and they worked tirelessly to ensure that their clients were happy. Over time, word of their excellent work spread, and they started getting more and more customers. Their family members were surprised and impressed by their success, and they realized that they had been wrong to doubt them. Luigi and Mario's plumbing company became one of the most successful in their town. They worked hard, treated their customers with kindness and respect, and never gave up on their dreams. They proved that with determination and a good spirit, anything is possible. And so, Luigi and Mario lived happily ever after, running their successful plumbing business and inspiring others to never give up on their dreams. Once upon a time, in the Mushroom Kingdom, there lived two brothers, Mario and Luigi. They were known throughout the kingdom for their bravery and courage in defeating evil creatures that threatened the peace and safety of the land. The brothers were also good friends with Princess Peach, who ruled over the kingdom. One day, while the brothers were out on a walk, they received a distress signal from Princess Peach. They rushed back to the castle to find that the princess had been kidnapped by the evil Bowser, King of the Koopas. Mario and Luigi knew they had to act fast to save their friend. They immediately set out on a dangerous journey through the Mushroom Kingdom, facing many obstacles and enemies along the way. They battled through dark forests, across treacherous rivers, and over steep mountains, never giving up in their quest to rescue Princess Peach. They even had to face Bowser's minions, such as Goombas, Koopa Troopas, and even the fierce and fiery dragon, Bowser Jr. But despite the dangers and setbacks, Mario and Luigi persevered. They used their wits and their special abilities, such as Mario's jumping skills and Luigi's strength, to overcome every challenge they faced. Finally, they arrived at Bowser's castle, where the evil king was holding Princess Peach captive. They fought their way through Bowser's minions and faced Bowser himself in a fierce battle. The battle was long and grueling, but Mario and Luigi refused to give up. They fought with all their might, using every weapon at their disposal. In the end, they emerged victorious, and Bowser was defeated. Princess Peach was overjoyed to see her friends and thanked them for their bravery and courage in rescuing her. She knew she could always count on Mario and Luigi to come to her aid whenever she was in trouble. And so, the Mushroom Kingdom was once again safe and peaceful, thanks to the heroics of Mario and Luigi. They returned to their home, content in the knowledge that they had saved the day once again, and ready for whatever adventures lay ahead. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and have fun. Here I have some special videos for you.